Hey everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how to propagate soursop. Now, in plant propagation, there's a few methods you can use. Now, everybody knows you can grow trees from seeds. The problem is that most trees take a really long time before they reach maturity and can actually bear fruit. In some instances, you're looking at around 5-10 to 10 years before you can actually get fruit. So how do we get around that? There's a few methods. One is grafts. Grafting takes uh, mature wood from a bearing tree and you are joining that to an immature rootstock that you planted from seed. Basically the resulting tree would be an exact copy or a clone of the parent plant and likewise the fruit will be the same as the parent plant. Now there's another method called layering and if you can imagine taking a branch off of any tree and stretching it all the way down to the ground and covering it with dirt or a rooting medium that would basically be called layering. Since we can't practically do that we are going to take the medium up to the tree and that's why it's called air layering. So I'll be showing you those two methods today how to graft and how to air layer a sour sop. Okay, so here's how you do an air layer. I'm using some homemade cocoa peat. It's a really good material, holds a lot of water. Yet while the fibers themselves are imbued with water, there's enough air spaces in between the material so that it does not um, flood the area that you are trying to root and therefore you won't have any issues with rot or anything like that. So the first thing we're going to do is select a healthy branch and we are going to cincture or ring that branch. In doing so, we are going to remove the phloem or the bark and also after that we are going to scrape off the layer in between the xylem and the phloem which is known as the cambium. So we are wrapping that area with the cocoa peat that is moist um, I'm going to secure that in some plastic film to trap the moisture so it does not dry out. And then I'm going to wrap that further with some aluminum foil. And that is to stop light from getting in and to keep the uh, area very cool. Even though we've cut off the phloem, the tree is still able to photosynthesize because it's getting water from the xylem. But what happens is the cambium at that point would basically say, well, there's nowhere I can get back down to the roots. There's too big of a gap. But hey, it's kind of nice here. It's dark. It's moist. I'm in the soil, so I can basically make some roots here. And um, that's how we get it. So depending on the tree that you're trying to grow, um, you'll usually get roots in about two to three months. And at that point, it's just to cut it off and plant it. Now, the second method here is a cleft graft. What I've done is I've taken a mature cutting from my sour sap tree that is already bearing. It's actively growing, and I've cut all the leaves off of it. And I've made sure to select a diameter that is very similar to my rootstock. The rootstock is a tree that I've planted from a sour sap tree, and it's grown up now. So, I'm going to put a cut in the, uh, the scion, or the mature cutting, that is a wedge shape, and then I'm going to cut a slot in the rootstock, and we're going to insert that into each other. Now, why it's so critical that we match the diameters is that we want the layers of the wood to line up exactly. More critically, the cambium layer. If the cambium layers aren't touching in both the scion and the rootstock, the graft is going to die and it's going to be unsuccessful. So once we have good contacts, the only thing left to do is I'm using some polyethylene plastic and I'm wrapping the graft very well because we don't want it to get wet and we also don't want it to lose any moisture. So after that, we just add a plastic bag over this and you can shade it. And this will basically maintain a greenhouse condition where you have lots of humidity and heat uh, 
conditions that won't allow Sion to dry out, and he's gonna keep it alive. Assuming photographs is successful, uh, we should see uh, some shoots right about there, and um, and at the nodes. So that's it.